Hey guys, Daddy Full here. Welcome to my channel. I just uh, hijacked my daughter's room for me to film this. So I wanted to create a channel that featured only the Google Pixel 2. This is my current phone. I decided to go with the Pixel 2 and use it for the long term. So, you know, no switching phones. If this breaks, have it fixed. Basically stick with it as long as I can. I use Google services a lot. Main things that I was looking for when I was choosing a phone was something that offered these Google services the fastest, quickest, and most accurate way possible. I ended up choosing the Pixel 2 XL. How does it look? I love it. A lot of people say that it's plasticky. To be honest with you, it's not. It's great. It has this weighted feel to it. It makes it feel more of a premium device. And I get that. There are some Samsung phones out there or the iPhone that look way, way better. But you know, this design, is growing on me. I like it a lot. The camera is one of the things that really helped me decide on picking this phone. I love mobile photography. I am an amateur photographer. By saying that, I really don't know anything about a camera. I just like taking pictures. Now, some of you might be watching this wondering, okay, what is that whole blue shift on the screen thing is? And to be honest with you, there is a little bit, or maybe some people think that this is too much, but for me, it's nothing. Not saying that it doesn't happen, that there aren't extreme cases with other people. But from my experience, it's been great. I don't mind it at all. I don't know if you can see it when you shift it, but it doesn't break my whole experience with it. So just to be clear though, when I was shopping for a phone, I wasn't looking for Oh, the best and you know brightest screen ever. Go with Samsung. Those screens, they are great. They are a little too saturated for my taste. So when I saw, saw this one, it was actually, you know, uh, I was thro thrown off by a little bit because even coming from an LG phone, their phones, their screens are a little bit more saturated than this one as well. But I got used to this one and I really don't mind. And this is coming from someone who takes photos with his phone all the time. I actually prefer the slightly flattened out colors. Some say it, it's dull, some say it's more accurate, and you know, I did a little test with, with it, taking a picture with my wife's L, uh, LG V20, and then taking a picture with my phone. Hers came out much more saturated than mine. Mine did come out a little bit duller than real life colors, but Pick your poison, I guess. And this is not a review. This I won't talk about benchmarks. I won't talk about performance. I wanna talk about the experience. And hopefully there are other guys out there that are the same as me. So like I said, I'm in this for the long run and we'll see how far I can take this. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. Uh, hopefully you guys will follow me along with this in this journey and uh, talk to you guys in the next one.